So this is problem number 3 on centroid of the plane figure. So here we have given a, uh, a complex figure for which we have to find the centroid. Okay. So first you draw the reference axis. This is a reference x axis and reference y axis. Now divide the whole figure into regular components. That is the second step. So I'll divide the figure into three rectangles. Three rectangles. So this I will call rectangle number one. This I will call as rectangle number two. And the third component I will call as rectangle number three. Okay. Now if you check symmetry about x axis and the y axis, figure is not symmetric about x axis, even the figure is not symmetric about the y axis. Which means figure is not the x axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts, even the y axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts. Okay. Therefore, we have to find both x bar and the y bar. We have to find both x bar and the y bar. Okay. In previous two problems, uh, the figure was symmetric about uh, y axis, x bar was directly known. x bar was directly known. Okay, only we have determined y bar. But here in this figure, it is not symmetric about both x axis and y axis. You have to find both x bar and the y bar. So, to find the x bar and y bar, the formula are x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a. This is what the formula. And y bar formula is y bar is equal to sigma ay by sigma a. Sigma ay by sigma a. So here we have <coughs> we have to find area x. Okay. Ax then area y and ay. Okay, so we write a tabular column including all these parameters component, area, x, y, ax, and dy. Okay, all these things are needed. Okay, now I'll take the first component for the calculation rectangle number one, rectangle number one for rectangle area is b into d. For rectangle 1, B is width is 60 mm and depth is 12 mm. 60 into 12. 720 mm square. And coming to the x value. Okay. So let me write the formula for all the rectangles first. I will assume G1 as centroid of rectangle 1. And I will assume uh, G2 as centroid of rectangle 2. And I will assume G3 has centered of rectangle 3. See, for rectangle, what is the formula for x bar and the y bar? B by 2 and D by 2. B by 2 and D by 2. So, here it is. This distance is for rectangle 2, B by 2 and D by 2. And for rectangle 3, b by 3 sorry b by 2 and d by 2 i have just written the formula okay now we will go on calculating the x value here x represents so before that write the units uh, units will be millimeter millimeter this is millimeter square Ax means millimeter square into millimeter, millimeter cube, millimeter cube. Okay. Now x value for rectangle 1. x value for rectangle 1 means distance of g1 from y axis. Y axis, it is directly b by 2. b by 2. b by 2. Width is 60 mm. 60 by 2 30 mm okay then coming to the y value 
y value for rectangle 1 means distance of g1 from reference x axis, x axis. So it is, see from the base of the rectangle it is d by 2. Distance of g1 is d by 2. But y represents distance of g1 from reference x axis. So it is 10 plus 128 plus d by 2 means 12 by 2. So here you write 10 plus 128 plus d by 2 which is equal to 138 plus dip, depth of rectangle 1 is 12 mm 12 by 2 144 mm 144 mm So Ax means area into x value 720 into 30 It will give uh, 21600 and Ay 720 into 144. The answer is 1,3680. 1,3680. So this completes the calculation for rectangle 1. Next, we will do the calculation for rectangle 2. Rectangle 2. So for area of rectangle, we have the formula B into D. B into D. So width of rectangle 2 is how much? Width is 10 mm and depth is 128 mm so 10 into 128 it will be 1280 mm square then coming to the x value for rectangle 2 okay it is distance of g2 from reference y axis this is the x value okay it will directly be by 2 b by 2 b is 10 mm by 2 5 mm then coming to the y value, distance of g2 means y value means this, this distance, distance of g2 from reference x axis. Okay. See from the base of rectangle 2, the formula is d by 2, but we want distance of g2 from reference x axis. So it is 10, 10 plus d by 2. 10 plus 10 plus d by 2. Okay. Therefore, here. 10 plus d by 2, 10 plus d is how much? 128 divided by 2. So it is 74 mm. 74 mm. Now calculate ax, multiply 1280 into 5. The answer is uh, 6400 and ay, 1280 into 74. 94720 is the answer. Okay. Now we will move on to third component rectangle number 3. Rectangle number 3. For rectangle 3, b into d. What is width of rectangle 3? 75 mm and its depth is 10 mm. 75 into 10. 750 mm. 750 mm. Then formula for x bar means distance of g3 from reference y axis. It is directly b by 2. b by 2. Uh, 75 by 2. So, you will get the answer as 37.5. 37.5. And y value for rectangle 3 is distance of g3 from reference x axis. Directly it is d by 2. Directly it is d by 2. Uh, it is 10 by 2. 5 mm, then Ax is 28,125, Ay is 3,750, 3,750, total area will be, total area, uh, 2,750 and Sigma Ax is equal to 56,125 and Sigma Ay is equal to, you will get the answer as 2,2150. Now, in this formula, we substitute x bar is equal to sigma ax by sigma a. Sigma ax is 56,125 divided by 2,750. The answer that we get for x bar is 20.4 mm and y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a. It is 2 lakh 2150 divided by 2750. The answer that you get is 
3.5 millimeter. 73.5 millimeter is the answer for y bar. Okay. So this completes the problem. Okay. You should be careful in writing the x and y values in calculating the x and y values. Okay. When it comes to the x value, you know, x value. The side of the rectangle is directly, if you take rectangle 1, rectangle 2 and rectangle 3, the sides, okay, left sides of the rectangles are directly lying on the y axis. Directly it is b by 2, b by 2 and b by 2. Okay. b by 2, b by 2 and b by 2. But when it comes to the y value, the base of the rectangle 1, 2, 3, base of the rectangle 1 is laying at a distance of 128 plus 10 mm from the x axis. So, we have to add this 128 plus 10 plus 12 divided by 2. When you take rectangle 2, base of the rectangle 2 is lying at a distance of 10 mm from the x axis. So, 10 plus 128 by 2. When it comes to the rectangle 3, base of the rectangle 3 is directly lying on the x axis. So, it is just d by 2. Okay. So, don't have any confusion in applying this formula here. Here only uh, you will do mistakes uh, in calculating. Okay. In finding the x and y values. Okay. So, this completes the problem. x bar is equal to 20.4 mm and y bar is equal to 73.5 mm. Okay. Thank you.